Welcome to Living Out Loud. I'm Kaya Ramanpur from the Arlington Council on Aging. You might be asking yourself, what is social capital? And how do you build it? Tune in after the break to find out. Welcome back. Today's theme is social capital. Social capital refers to the relationships and networks of people within a community that enables that community to function effectively. That definition is a little wordy. At the foundation, social capital is about trust and reciprocity. It's about bonding, building relationships, and the goodwill that community members have with each other. When community members have social capital, it's likely that they know each other and trust each other. When this happens, people are more likely to engage. They're more likely to attend community events, volunteer, and vote. For the residents of Arlington, social capital isn't unfamiliar. Many, many people engage with their community here every single day in various ways. And so the question, do I have social capital, is for many residents in Arlington, is yes, you do. But if you are one of those people who might be asking yourself, do I have social capital? I have a very simple suggestion and starting point for building relationships and trust with the community members around you. Have you ever baked a cake and realized that you needed a cup of sugar and you went to your neighbor's house and asked if you could borrow one? That is social capital. Your neighborhood watch programs, making sure that your neighborhoods are safe, that's social capital. Community events like Town Day is a way in which community members can build social capital. Social capital is important because it builds healthier, happier, and safer communities. Now you might be asking yourself, how do I build social capital? And I have a simple suggestion for you. Communication. Social capital in all relationship building starts with communication. Rollo May, an American psychologist, once said that communication leads to community. And he's right. When people talk to each other, they're more likely to trust each other. How simple is that? And when people trust each other, they're more engaged. The Arlington Council on Aging has a few programs that will help you communicate with the community. We have the Intergenerational Tea Talk. This event brings together people from all ages and all nationalities to talk about their life stories. We also offer an intergenerational book club. This book club is open to everyone, regardless if you read the book or not. We also offer How Do I Use This Digital Thing? An opportunity for kids to teach seniors how to use their technology devices. Memory cafes are a monthly gathering for those with memory loss and their caregivers to build relationships and share experiences. Before we end today, we want to make an announcement that lets the community know Medicare open enrollment ends December 7th. There are no more SHINE appointments for open enrollment here in Arlington. But if you need one, please contact Minuteman Senior Services in Bedford at 781-221-7029. For all other inquiries, please call us at the Council on Aging at 781-316-3400. That's all for today. Tune in next week for an interview with Amy Gothing, the Community Engagement Fellow at the Beverly Council on Aging. She will be discussing how Beverly is building social capital through intergenerational programs. I'm Kai Ramper from the Arlington Council on Aging, and you're watching Living Out Loud. <laughs>